So let's take a look at some of the uh, types of measurements we would take when we're machining. So if machining is about anything, it's about being able to make uh, really precise parts, being able to make parts with a very, uh, very specific size with very little tolerance. So being able to do this uh, starts with being able to make really nice, uh, precise measurements. Here we have an air gauge that measures to the nearest 100 thousandth of an inch. So we need to get an idea of the scale of this, how small, say, a hundred thousandths of an inch is. And the way I like to do this is with a sticky note, so we'll uh, use this as a reference. Sticky note's about four thousandths of an inch thick, three inches by three inches wide. And I'd like to make a scale model of this. I'd like to scale it up 500 times. So if I did that, if I was going to make a physical model of that, that would be awfully big. I could uh, lay that out on a football field and you wouldn't have any trouble seeing it. But that'd be hard to, be hard to make a physical model of something like that. So what I want to do is just make a model of this little tiny corner down here. This corner is about 50 thousandths by 50 thousandths. Those are inches, 0 .050 inches wide. And if I take that, let me put a little pencil mark on here for, uh, for reference. I cut out just a little corner here. I want to make a scale model of this that's 500 times larger than that little scrap of paper. So let's first take a look at this little scrap. I'm going to use this uh, vision coordinate measuring machine. And we'll zoom in here on it. It's kind of like a microscope we can take precise measurements with. And here you can see it sitting on my finger. And there is the half millimeter pencil mark. Here's a little closer look. There's a millimeter for reference. So if I made this a physical model, there we go, 500 to 1 scale model of that little tiny piece of paper. That's, uh, you know, the actual paper is about four thousandths of an inch. That's also pretty close to 0.1 millimeters, a tenth of a millimeter. There you see the width of the pencil mark. That's a half millimeter. Of course, uh, this is at our 500 to 1 scale. So at this scale, this is what a thousandth of an inch would look like. There's four of them. You see it's much, much uh, narrower than the pencil mark. So, uh, you know, you may be used to doing carpentry or something where you mark with a pencil, and a pencil mark is a pretty good guide. But in machining, uh, that's not going to work. We need to have much more precise ways of making marks and taking measurements and something like a pencil lead. These are uh, hundredths of a millimeter, 0 0.01 millimeter. You can see they are thinner than the thousandths of an inch. Now, let's say that I wanted to see a little more detail than something like a thousandth of an inch. What I'd like to do is make a scale model that is one million times larger than actual size. Uh, but uh, as you might can imagine, that's going to be sort of expensive. So I'll just do sort of a, a virtual scale model, one that is one million times larger than your average sticky note. So now instead of three inches by three inches, the model would be 47 miles long on each edge. And the thickness would be about as tall as a, an office building in downtown Memphis. So I picked this one. It happens to be almost exactly the right size to our million to one scale. I will look at it here from uh, Google Earth View. There it is. There's the corner of our sticky note, our sticky note that is one million to one scale. So this is not what a million sticky notes would look like. It's a million times a million times a million sticky notes. A million in the height, a million in the width, and a million in the length. This is what our little scrap would look like, that little tiny piece, that 50 thousandths piece that I cut off at a million to one scale. It would look like this. That would be the boundary of it. So let's see the whole sticky note just for reference here. As we start to zoom out, you can see that uh, 
pretty large. In fact, that curved area, that is the curvature of the earth poking through our sticky note. And you can see the whole thing spreads out almost, well, not quite to Jackson, Tennessee, Jackson, Tennessee from Memphis. Pretty easy to see our model from space. That would be kind of expensive to make. But here's our virtual version of that. Now, if we were to look at, at this scale, the adhesive on top of the sticky note would have this, this size relief. This is the same scale. That is the, the texture of the adhesive at this scale. So you see there he has 100 uh, micrometers. That's the same as 0.1 millimeters. That is the thickness of our note. You can see there it's the same as the height of our office building. So let's zoom in to our virtual piece of our one million to one scale model. We just have the little corner here. So here you can see a tenth of a millimeter, 0.1 millimeters. Uh, that's pretty close to four thousandths of an inch, but that's 0.1 millimeters for about the thickness of a piece of paper. And I'll zoom in a little bit more. We'll see one hundredth of a millimeter, 0 0.01 millimeters, getting pretty small there. This is a thousandth of an inch, and a thousandth of an inch uh, is kind of, the, in the United States anyway, sort of the de facto manufacturing uh, unit. We're talking about machining. We tend to measure things in thousandths of an inch. A lot of the measuring instruments like calipers and micrometers are designed to measure to the nearest thousandth of an inch. So it's kind of the go-to unit for machinists, for a lot of machinists. Now, if you make really, really precise work, you might start having tolerances in the nearest 10 thousandth of an inch range. It's about as small as a manual micrometer can measure. The 100 thousandth of an inch is extraordinarily small, you can see there. These are the thousandth of a millimeter, the same as a micron. So that little man there, in real life, that would be about the size of an E. coli bacterium. The sine wave you see there is red light wave, so that's the wavelength there, uh, 0.650 microns or micrometers, which of course is the same as 650 nanometers, so you're starting to talk about nanoscale down here. We zoom in a little bit more, we see uh, that little square there is a micro inch. You might be surprised to learn that we use micro inches uh, in special circumstances in machining. Uh, this certificate of inspection, for example, that shows the NIST traceability, something I might talk about later, uh, has units in micro inches on it. We have micro inches there. You also see micro inches when you're talking about surface roughness. So. Uh, you may have an average surface roughness of a certain number of micro inches. That's the numbers that you see there. So there's two micro inches uh, average roughness on that surface. Zoom in a little more, we can see a nanometer, one single nanometer at uh, this scale. This is our million to one scale, remember, so this is uh, zoomed way, way in. And then finally we can get down to the, to the level of like an iron uh, atom. Uh, structure. There are the lattice, several iron atoms together. So hopefully that gives you a sense of scale with uh, regard to machining measurements.